Indian Young Lawyers Association vs State of Kerala 2018 Should women be allowed entry to the Sabarimala temple in Kerala Indian Young Lawyers Association case allowed the entry of women aged between 10 and 50 to the Sabarimala temple in Kerala It held that the devotees of Lord Ayappa are Hindus and do not constitute a separate religious denomination It upheld the women's right to profess practice and propagate a religion the judgment reaffirms the constitution's transformative character and derives strength from the centrality it accords to fundamental rights while upholding the rights of women the court also referred to the puttaswami judgment background the shabrimalai temple devoted to lord ayappa is a temple of great antiquity situated in the state of kerala In 1955 and 1956 two notifications were issued by the Travancore Deva Swam Board prohibiting entry of women aged between 10 and 50 years. In 1965 the Kerala Hindus Places of Public Worship Authorization of Entry Act 1965 was enacted. The constitutionality of this ban was challenged in the Kerala High Court in Mahendran versus the Secretary Travancore Devaswam Board 1992. In 2006, in 2000 the ban was once again challenged in the Supreme Court by the Indian Young Lawyers Association and others. They filed writ petition under Article 32 of the Constitution seeking issuance of directions against the government of Kerala they were swam board of travancore the three judge bench of the supreme court keeping in the view the gravity of the issues involved referred the matter to the constitutional bench arguments for the purpose of constituting a religious denomination not only the practices followed by the denomination should be different since the administration of the temple attached to the devaswam board is centralized The mere difference in practices carried out at Hindu temples cannot accord to them the status of separate religious denominations. Discrimination in matters of entry to temples is neither a ritual nor a ceremony associated with the Hindu religion as this religion does not discriminate against women. The exclusionary practice of preventing women between the ages of 10 to 50 years based on psych- physiological factors exclusively to be found in female gender while it's article 14 of the constitution of India. The exclusionary practice while it's article 15 clause 1 of the constitution which amounts to discrimination on the basis of sex as the physiological feature of menstruation is exclusive to women alone. The exclusionary practice has the impact of casting a stigma on women of menstruating age for it considers them polluted and leads to violation of article 17 as the expression in any form under the article 17 includes untouchability based on social factors. The exclusionary practice violates the rights of Hindu women under article 25 of the constitution to enter Hindu temples dedicated to the public. The Sabarimala pilgrimage was to be undertaken after observing Rutham for 41 days during which either the woman leaves the house or the man resides elsewhere in order to separate himself from all family ties. Even men who cannot observe the 41 days Rutham due to births and deaths in the family which results in breaking of Rutham are also not allowed to take the pilgrimage that year. The deity at Shabrimalai is in the form of Naishtika Brahmachari and that is also a reason why young women are not allowed inside the temple so as to prevent even the slightest deviation from celibacy and austerity observed by the deity. The judgment after hearing the petitioners respondents and amis curie the supreme court held that the devotees of lord ayappa's are hindus and do not constitute a separate religious denomination the lone woman in the constitution bench justice indu malhotra gave a dissenting judgment she held that the petition does not deserve to be entertained it is not for courts to determine which religious practices are to be struck down except in the issues of social evil like sati importance 
the judgment upheld the women's right to profess practice and propagate religion impact following the supreme court judgment some women tried to enter the temple on 14 november 2019 the supreme court constitution bench referred the review petition on this case to a larger bench